Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. This is chemistry. And of course, we are going to continue our study on types of reactions. And today we look at photochemical, photochemical reactions. All right, I'm going to look at photochemical reactions today. All right, please know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only best CBT practice app called the OTD School Jump app. The OTD, the OTD School Jump app is all you need for sure success in your examination. It has all the past questions you need for your exam, all, both recent and past. And even last year question is on the app. All right, so it's all you need. It has so many features that are what in, endeavor to what make to make you what succeed in your exam. There's a classroom feature whereby you can chat with our ai power chatbot right that's what answers your questions and leads you and leads you to the answer of a particular question that you are currently on you can ask questions around it around it it will, it, it will not tell you the direct answer but to keep on teaching you to you yourself know the answer so because if it gives you the direct answer you will not be able to learn all right you will not be able to learn why that is the answer but it leads you to it i told, I told you why it's telling you the why so that you can know the answer all right, so it's a wonderful word feature, the classroom feature. Also, we have what the question search feature where you can search for questions by topic. And also, we also have the UTM challenge. This one is the bomb. It's a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam each year. All right, so every Saturday, every Saturday morning by 10 a.m., we conduct that challenge till one week to your jam exam. So, why is it important? One, you are competing against what your mates, all right, and you are winning prizes. That is one. Then two, you are, we are going to be releasing your score after every challenge. So after every week, you see your challenge score, you see your score by your subject, just like the way Jam releases its results. So when you see your results, you're able to know your weak areas, you're able to know your strengths, you're able to know how to improve on your weak areas. Two, you get used to how Jam sets their question very easy and then tell you to build your confidence toward the exam and there also there are many modes on the app there's a practice mode there's a study mode there's an exam mode there are, there's a mock mode you can take as many mocks as possible you can even set the time you want to use to answer question and number of questions you want to answer is very flexible all right know that this app is also available for both android and for what for pc and even ios is in view all right so now if you want to get the app for your laptop or for your computer at home, just send a message on WhatsApp to this number 091 Just send a message on WhatsApp to this number. Once you send a message to this number on WhatsApp, just say I want the link to download the PC version, the laptop version, or I want to activate my app. Activation is 3000 error. As at the time of shooting this video, it may increase, it may definitely increase. All right. Now that is that for that. Okay, so let's now head back to what we are here for, which is photochemical reactions. And photochemical reactions are reactions that occur in the presence of light. They occur in the presence of what of light. They are affected by what by light. They are very fast. They are very fast in the presence of what of light. Once light is involved, they are what the rate is what very very what fast. They are the reactions that are affected by what by light. And they are very fast in the presence of light. Let's see examples of photochemical reactions to drive the point home. Please, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is wrong. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to your friends also. All right, now let's see examples. Example of photochemical reactions. One is the reaction, is the substitution reaction. Substitution reaction between maintain right maintain gas and chlorine what gas and chlorine gas in the presence in the presence of diffused sunlight in the presence of diffused sunlight all right so this is one example of what of a photochemical reaction the reaction between maintain and chlorine in the presence of diffuse or sunlight which leads to the homolytic fission of the chlorine what molecule all right which leads leads to the homolytic fission of the chlorine molecule all right so this is an example of 
a substitution what uh, of a photochemical reaction is a photochemical reaction reaction between methane and chlorine with the in the presence of diffusion that will lead to the what to the homolytic fission of what of the chlorine water molecule if you follow what that was reaction when we get to organic chemistry we will see it again definitely all right now also it is also the reaction between what hydrogen and chlorine is very slow in dim light in dim light it is very slow all right so number two the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine is slow in dim light but very fast but very fast in bright light all right so the reaction between what hydrogen and chlorine is slow in dim light they're very fast in what in bright light this is also an example of what of a photochemical water reaction because it is affected by light all right also photosynthesis the one you know photosynthesis photosynthesis a process all right a process where green plants a process where green plants where sea weeds right where algae all right this is what i do biology we will see start doing biology so algae where sea weeds algae and certain bacteria bacteria absorb up absorb solar energy absorbs uh, solar energy and converts and converts atmospheric carbon dioxide co2 and convert atmospheric co2 to carbohydrates all right it is also what a photochemical water reaction it, it, it happens in the presence of what of sunlight all right so this is photosynthesis the process where green plants see with algae and certain bacteria absorb solar energy and convert atmospheric co2 to carbohydrates is also what a photochemical what process even vitamin d vitamin d right which is useful or helpful for bone and teeth development as well as functioning of the kidney right while helping skin growth why happens skin growth is also what a photochemical what process all right it's also a photochemical process vitamin d which is useful for bone and teeth development as well as functioning of the kidney why happens skin growth is also a photochemical what process do you also know that what ultraviolet rays ultraviolet or uv rays right which are harmful which are harmful to human DNA and skin cancer, right? Right, it's also a what a photochemical what process, all right? Ultraviolet rays, as you view rays, which are harmful to human DNA and skin cancer are what they are also a photochemical what processes, all right? So, um, there could be more, in fact, I think there are other what other, other what, uh, um examples of what of photochemical work process in fact in our daily what life in our daily life activities like xerography like you see our our fax our photocopy machine right you see you will see light inside why it is what trying to copy all right so they also happen in the presence of light in fact let me do add that to be the number six right uh, activities activities like xerography right and photography are what all what chemical are all what photochemical what processes photochemical processes all right so all these are what examples of what of photochemical water reactions all right i'll go by them again substitution reaction between methane and chlorine in the presence of diffuse sunlight all right 
uh, which leads to the homolytic fission, all right, of the chlorine molecule is called, it's also what is a photochemical reaction. Reaction between hydrogen and chlorine is very slow in dim light, they're very fast in bright light, right? Photosynthesis also, even vitamin D, which is used for bone and teeth development, as well as functioning of the kidney, right? Why helping skin goat is also what a photochemical what process. Ultraviolet rays, UV rays, which are harmful to human DNA and skin cancer, is a of course it's a photochemical what process. Also, activities like xerography, our daily activities like xerography and photography are all photochemical what processes. Now, we are look at we are look at a whole lot of what types of what reactions, and there's a reason why we left this last side to what for the redox what reaction in our next episode we are going to look into oxidation and reduction what reaction all right and then we'll do calculations and we are done with this topic thanks for watching i would love to see you in the next episode